know the meaning of different distances. Here he is on the lead. He's being hounded and pressured by uh, G.G. Digger in the mile and one-eighth pacing classic final on July 18th. As we roll through the stretch, Kath Manzi seized control, rated a moderate pace, and outsprinted a boxed-in Dreamaway. Look at John Campbell with Dreamaway here. No racing room for him. And Pacific Fella became Cam Fella's 12th millionaire. That was not a very taxing effort for him, despite the added distance. He's proven that he recovers quickly. Gary, he's actually put on weight over the past two weeks. All right, let's talk to the Catman himself, driver Cat Manzi aboard Pacific Fella. We see them right now on the racetrack. Cat Gary Seibel here in the Pacing Classic final here at the Meadowlands. A tough feel, but red bow tie, a nemesis for Pacific Fella. Back in. Any different strategy for you today? Well, uh, you know, the fact that red bow ties off a month, you know, throws kind of a monkey wrench in here. I have no idea what to expect from him. But he's a good horse, and, uh, you know, I still figure him as my main competition. Cat, how does he feel uh, today compared to uh, last uh, two weeks ago? Well, he, f he feels pretty sound. Uh, you know, he's usually kind of bumpy before the race. He has a few of his problems, but he's uh, he seems pretty uh, pretty limber today. So uh, I'm expecting a good race. All right, Cat, good luck and safe trip. Let's head up to track announcer John Bothy for his thoughts on the upcoming Breeders'